Because, uh... In the ZVX, with Stoic here, episode 24, game 2, he is still under arrest! And he's Stoic Nouveau? This is, um... A ZVT, Antigua Shipyard, cross positions, versus LG Gimmicks. Gimmicks, David. He's so hot right now. Gimmicks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry about the last fight. If we did fix the audio, then Sean won't, Sean won't sound like a robot anymore. I'm trying not to sound like a robot. If you guys know how to stop making me sound like a robot, please post in the thread mm -hmm. as to how to fix it. I'm not sure. I think my mic is messed up. No, I think it's the... the you changed it from stereo to mono. It shouldn't it's be mono on the stereo. Now. Maybe I was Definitely yelling. Would make like, sense. I was like yelling last fight too. Sometimes I yell. Sometimes I sneeze my own name. What? Yeah, yeah. That, that would be horrible if it's on stereo and you, yeah, oh well, whatever. By the way, if you guys are coming to NASL, I'll be the guy holding the poster that says, Mr. Bitter, you owe me $35. Because that <laughs> motherfucker owes me $35, and I'll fucking get oh, it from him. I'll you get it from him in Canadian cash. Let's do that. I am doing it. <laughs> get my girlfriend to write the sign in big bubble letters. Cause Can you imagine if he just doesn't know how to handle it because he's so awkward and shit? I, and I bet you he'll just walk out. Well, he'll either completely ignore me and they'll never put me on camera, or I'll walk right out and give me thirty-five dollars. I'll say, you know what? Keep your money, bitter. But I'll take the money. No, I'll take the exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into the game here. Um, this is Antigua. Are you in? Yeah. Well, I'm ready when you are. Three, two, one, play. All right. Um, I don't know what style I do yet, so let's just wait. <laughs> so talk about LG gimmicks. L gimmicks. L gimmicks. I don't know. He's been pretty popular nowadays uh, as of late. From what? I don't know. Tournaments. I think he participated in WCS. He beat somebody good. He might have been the person who knocked out. Hydra? No, no, no. That was his Actually, two people knocked him out because he went to the losers. I don't know. Whatever. Idra sucks. Oh, whoops. Did I say that? No, Idra fucking kicked ass in Home Story Cup. When he 3-0'd yeah. his group, he, I actually came to my pants That second group that stage, work. he did so well. What was it, like 0-3? That, that was pretty sweet. Well, he, everyone knows when he's already out of it. Like when X... When, um... <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> when... Uh, fuck, who was it? Was it Happy or was it Hasselbaum? So it was Happy. I don't know. He lost the no name. Well, somebody somebody won, and he just did not give a shit about his third match because everyone knows when Idra doesn't can't can't go through, he doesn't give a shit. So mm. don't fault him for that. But he I mean, must he not kicked give ass in that first group. He tends to lose a lot nowadays. No way. I'll <laughs> never I'll never stop believing. I know. That's why I'm gonna keep dashing on Idra <laughs> when I'm talking to you. I love Idra until you admit it. All right, so. Actually, I still don't know what opening I'm doing yet, so I'll have to see if I'm taking gas or not. Get out of here, cat. Before I drop you on my balcony window. Okay, we're about to find out. Moment of truth is coming. Gas? You doing this early of a gas? You doing a 27? No. No. Is nope. it gas? gas? No. 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 You didn't. You would have gas. What time are you at? I'm at 3:10. Okay. Now oh, we're actually on par. Okay, so I'm doing a gas six fan. Actually, we still don't know yet. I might put it down now. We'll have to see. That's really that'd, that'd be. Oh ridiculous. no, I built the overlord. Okay, never mind. No gas. No gas opening. No gas opening. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna. You might do it at 27. You've been doing that mostly. No, no, no. I don't do that anymore. What? Oh my God! You change your build every frigging three days. Mm -hmm. How are we supposed to keep up, David? <laughs> it's okay. I haven't played in a week on ladder, so. Yeah, no, me, no me either. I went to see Spider Man by myself on Sunday night. <laughs> Serious? Yeah, my, oh fuck my yeah, God. I did. That's Who else so am I supposed to go with? Genius. Well, I went out drinking the night before with all my friends, and they were like, man, we're going out again. I'm like, nah, I got plans tonight. I just really Why would you go to a movie theater by yourself? That's the most depressing thing ever. Nah, it's not depressing. Oh, my girlfriend's God. been away for like fucking forever. It is the most depressing thing ever. Mm. Oh, no, man. the most depressing thing ever is that time I walked in on you and you were in the corner of the hotel room crying, rocking back and forth, rubbing uh -huh, peanut uh -huh. butter all over yourself in uh -huh. your underwear. What remember that day? Of, what did I have all over myself? Peanut butter? Peanut you don't, butter. You don't remember that? That no, was depressing. I'm allergic to peanut butter, so this story is completely faulty. <laughs> That's really even more depressing. You know what? I just You see what I just did there? I'm not allergic to peanut butter. See? So your story. I just got... <laughs> 
I am <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I'm actually picturing that scene right now. Oh, so you're back to your four queen build. All right, great. Okay, so I actually don't know if I'm going to go up to six queens or not. That's pretty popular now, too, but I don't remember. <laughs> so what's, I guess we can talk about the various openings. What's the difference between the... I mean, well, I, I, obviously, the difference is two queens. But <laughs> 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 what does it help you do when you go to the six queens? Because you're not right, doing so it. So here, here is ZVT in a nutshell trying to take your third off no gas expense. Okay. There are two types of openings that the Terran can do off of either one Rax expand uh, with no gas or command center into two uh, two Rax. It's, it's all the same thing. Whatever. It's just very greedy expansion build basically. There's two things you have to or you should know. Uh, that that allows you to respond better or make better decisions. Is he opening, you know, faster factory into reactor hellions, or is he going pure bio? Because pure bio has made a comeback, basically, opening pure racks and then doing time and pushes with marauders mixed in is very very popular nowadays. And then obviously the original build that has been popular for like the last year, where they just get reactor hellions either into banshees or whatever. It's just the point is there are reactor hellions. And against that, the the higher number of queens you have, the better, actually. Because what the new queen range has uh, allowed us to do as Duke players is it basically has allowed you to skip roaches altogether. The only real need for roaches is if he's going pure mech and he gets such a ridiculous number of uh, hellions that you know even six queens cannot stop it because he will either just kill you or he'll just do a run by and then kill you that way too. Oh, so against God. Against mech style openings, and when I say mech style openings, I don't mean they're going mech, it's just uh, factory builds are mech to start off with and then they'll transition into bio. Uh, the higher number of queens you have is better because it allows you to do heavy, heavy droning and you know, with six queens against uh, four, six hellion pressure, you actually don't even have to build a single unit uh, until your speed finishes, so that's really good. So this is actually good, it's going to showcase what I was talking about. So this is the exact opposite of what happened. So as you can see, this is the best counter to third base, uh, third base serve that tries to do it gasless. And that this is becoming really popular as, uh, as Terrans have kind of figured out that we have to handle this a little bit too difficult with the clean range, etc. Plus this really puts your creep spread back. Oh yeah, that and it's forcing me to build so many units. Like This is actually, I'm handling this really poorly. I didn't build my macro hatch and I'm only at 38 drones. So. Yeah, no kidding. I'm playing really well. Wow. Anyways. Okay, let's so pause and sync up then. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. 8. Okay, you're good. So basically, the thing you want to do against builds like this, if you can metagame it earlier or recognize, you know, with maybe more diligent scouting with your overlord, where, whereas I just kind of let it do Let's nothing. be clear, you didn't spot this early enough, right? No, because I didn't do any scanning whatsoever. The best thing you want to do is you just have to scale back your gases a little bit. So instead of taking, you know, triple gas at 50, oh just God. take a double gas at 44. And as you can see, once speed kicked in, it was super easy to hold that off. So as long as you have gas a little bit earlier, you'll have speed a little bit earlier, and you'll have your baneling nest a little bit earlier, and pushes like this can be countered. It's, you basically have to think of it as the metagame has been shifting, right? Uh, Terrans used to open pure bio like this, and... Why did they stop doing that? Because they kind of got annoyed that their players kept opening gas and basically just speedlings and banelings countered that really badly and then it allowed them to easily transition into mutas or even infestors, which wasn't really popular at the time, but you still could do that. So, Gee, yeah. Yeah, you just basically need to not be too as greedy. You don't need that many queens because queens are pretty shit against a large number of marines, uh, as you just saw there throughout the beginning of this game. And uh, yeah, once speed, once speed finishes, you're in amazing shape. And it even allows you to put down a bailing nest and you can even morph bailings and fend it off before speed finishes with uh, slowlings. Because as long as you have creep spread, uh, bailings will counter marines, obviously, because uh, he doesn't have stim yet. So. Now, why do you have so much gas? Is that just because of his attack? He kind of got a little flustered. Yeah, my macro is just immaculate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Who creep on his third? I really should. I realize I can't speak to you. Oh, you're doing it. I spoke yeah. to you back through time. Nice. That's possible. That's Only I when I do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be going into Infestus this game, and I guess the uh, the only thing I did right this game was I didn't really miss injects. Like, I even had to pull all my queens, but I still have kept it with my injects. So 
you know, I was floating a gazillion minerals, but luckily I was able to spend it eventually because I had the larva to spend it. So. <laughs> nice whole position on the overlord too. That's good. Keep pooping that creep. So, um, what can we talk about? I don't know. We've done so many games like this, so. Well, this guy makes a lot of fucking marines. I mean, yeah, he's, he's he upgrading them. Used. He's getting combat shield. He's doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got. He's, keep doing, he's got forty-four marines. And bio builds are becoming very popular. This is why I think you know what's going to end up happening. Stefano is going to end up beating every Terran in the world for the next three months because Stefano basically has stuck with gas openings for so long and is still still did like really well against the reactor Hellion opening, especially the Banshee opening, which is the hard counter to his opening. And he was still winning like seventy percent of the time against Code S players. And now the metagame is shifting towards, like, back towards uh, what his build is really good against and what everybody else, all the Korean builds, suck against. So it's coming into your base, right? It's a trap. So I think Stefano is gonna, he's gonna start winning a lot of verse Terran tournaments randomly, just because. <laughs> this is how pro gaming works. Weird metagame shifts. All right, so I'm gonna have to get lucky. I, I really need to hit this failing hit. So. And then I do get it, so that's quite lucky for me. See, that would have actually hurt quite a bit if there were like a full medevac there left if he lifted it off, but I'm able to easily uh, fend that one off thanks yeah. to the banelings there. So you got relatively fast uh, hive tech. Yeah. Any Definitely. particular reason for that, or you, is this a reaction? Always. No, no, always, right? In Festling, you want to hit that hive button as fast as possible. You want Ultralisk as, as fast as possible. And, you know, it's the reason why, really, is because the key to doing Ling and Festa strategies is you don't really want to max until you have tier 3. I mean, that's the whole point of Infestors. It allows you to be extremely powerful defensively. So, you know, if I if I don't have to max until my Ultralist Cavern is finished, like this game, for example, you're going to see I never hit 200 supply even though I could have. And uh, I'm going to hit my first 200 supply with Ultralists. And that's, that's very ideal. So okay. it's definitely what I want. How come you never burrow Banelings? I don't know, I definitely should. It just I, takes extra I, APM and extra focus. Yeah. Oh my god, he's 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 the Marine King. <laughs> Alright, so two. these Banelings I definitely don't want to build, but I just kind of felt that um, this push was going to kill me. So if I kind of waited for Ultralisks here, then I would let him get into a position that would basically make it impossible for me to engage. I mean, Ultralisks are really good, but... Catching the can out of position like this is, uh, you know, obviously more important than That was Ultralist. a nice engagement for you. Yeah, because Ultralists don't exactly hard counter the composition he has. So it's not like the end all that Brood Lords have where, you know, if I stall and get Brood Lords, then even if he's in a good position, I'm still going to win the fight, especially if he has tanks. But Ultralis Ultralisks are not like that. So if you feel like you need to max on Lings to kill off an attack or not die to an attack, you, you have to do it. You have no choice. The Ultralist style is not the style that you can kind of sit back and say, you know, as long as I get these Ultralists out, I'm going to win the game. No, because even against uh, an unupgraded, well-placed uh, tank line, you know, offensively positioned towards one of your bases, it's so hard to engage, especially on a map like this. So. You can type NR20, so that means he won't rush you for 20 minutes. Yeah, that works too. But only in Chan's <laughs> world. Well, that was my main strategy back in the Brew War days. No rush 20, bro. <laughs> Always with the bro to make it sound real casual. Yep. Come on, man. I won't rush you, so why oh, would you rush me? So man. you're going to have adrenal yeah. glands before you have 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. You must have been late on your upgrades. Yeah, definitely. That quality, shouldn't happen. Quality yes. upgrading by this third player here. <laughs> okay. So now, let's talk about how to engage here. Okay, you're just going right in there. Yeah, you want to spread as much as you can. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have enough minerals uh, to remax here on wings. So I actually have a good army value and will have a, better, a good army value going into my remax. And this transitions nicely into basically forcing his army to be here so that, you know, he denied my base like three, four times. So forcing him to defend allows me to get my third, uh, my fourth up finally. It just so happens that I do kill him uh, because the engagement was so good for me. But, you know, me transitioning into this uh, fourth gold base is definitely the key here. I finally am able to saturate it. You messed him up, Essie. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to do that, was it? No, it was just supposed to let me uh, saturate my fourth. <laughs> well, 
drops when you get doing it. Oh, spores are good. Ooh. Yeah, put a spore at your 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 bases, guys. It's fucking awesome. Sean has actually said that probably like a hundred times within all of our videos, so you guys really should be doing that because you know <laughs> we keep saying that. I'm the authority. If you don't, if you're not building spores against drops, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> Damn it. Stupid. <laughs> you remember that that YouTube poster? What YouTube Did you know poster? some of our a lot on YouTube where the guy said, um, you know, calling your fans idiots and retards probably won't get you more viewers. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> so guys, this is hilarious. What have you guys posted on our YouTube videos? <laughs> calling your fans idiots and retards won't get you more viewers. So I went on and replied, idiot, and then David writes right under me, retard. <laughs> That's hilarious. And on that note, we'll be back for the next game. Uh.